In this video, we're going to talk about the parent-child relationship in Geometer Sketchpad and how we can take advantage of it to draw sketches in specific ways. So here I have a sketch that I've already created, and the feature that I want to show you is that these two points A and B, when I drag them around, notice that moving the point A isn't changing the size of that circle. So the point A is locked onto that circle, and the point B is also locked onto its circle. And so this would be important if I wanted to, for example, make this triangle that I've drawn here so that this segment can't change. So that, that segment is a fixed size. And if I also wanted this segment to also be a fixed size. So this might be a useful sketch if I'm trying to investigate triangles that have sides of certain lengths. So let's try to create this sketch ourselves. So I'm going to create a new sketch and let's try to make it from scratch. So what do we need? Well, we need two circles. So I draw a circle. That's pretty simple. Now, if we notice in the previous uh, sketch, the two circles had the same center, and that's not too hard to do. So if I draw my circle, and remember, when we draw a circle, we click twice. The first click is the center, and the second click is the point on the circle. So we want the center to be the same, so we just click on the center that we already have, and then we'll just click our second point out here. So everything's looking pretty good. We've got our three points. Let's draw our segments. And let's label our points. The inner point was labeled A, so we'll use our text tool. We'll hover over the point. It, Geometer Sketchpad defaults to call the first point that you label A and the second point B, so that's convenient. And now if we try to drag our points around, oops, not dragging the circle. Now if we try to drag our points around, oh, what happens here? Now if I drag A, I can make the circle bigger and smaller, which is exactly what I didn't want to be able to do. And the reason is that this point that I've called A here is one of the two points that defines this inner circle. It's one of the parents of that circle. And this point B, I can also move to change the size of the circle. And that's because this point B is one of the two parents of this outer circle. So how do I make it so that the point can move around the circle but not change the size of the circle? Well, the answer is that I need to create a point that is not a parent of the circle, but is a child of the circle. And the way that I do that is by choosing the point tool. I'm going to hover over one of these circles. When the circle glows red, that means I know that when I click on that circle, the point will be a child of that circle. So if I click there, now if I use the selection tool, if I'm dragging this point around, I cannot get that point off of the circle. No matter how far away I move my mouse pointer, that point is always going to stay on that circle. It is a child of the circle. And that's the point that I really want to be calling A. So I'm going to take my label tool, I'm going to click on that point again, that removes the label, and if I click over here, that's the point that I would like to be called A. Of course, Geometer Sketchpad defaults to call it the next letter in line. In fact, Geometer Sketchpad actually remembers that this point was called A, and so this point over here, I need to change its name to A. And the way that I do that is I double click on the point, and that opens this label box, and I can type in the label that I want. In fact, I can call the label anything. I can type in a word and have that be the label of my point. But I want it to be the letter A, so I use that. Similarly, I'm going to create a point on this circle that will be a child of that circle, and that's the point that I'll want to be called B. So I'll double click this, go to label, I want that to be called B, and then I don't want this to be called anything, so I'll get rid of that. These segments are connected to the wrong point, so I want to delete those. I don't want those segments to exist at all. And now I want to create segments over here. And now when I drag around the points A and B, I get the functionality that I wanted. So A cannot leave the circle. It can't change the size of the circle. Same thing with B. But we don't quite have the picture that we had before because we have these two points over here. And remember, those two points are parents of the circles that they're on. If I move these points, then I can change the size of the circle. And so really, I would like those points to not be there at all. But we have to be careful here. If I select that point and say, oh, I want to get rid of that point, I'm going to press the delete key. Remember, that point was a parent of that circle. And if you get rid of the parent, you get rid of anything that it's a parent of. So I want to undo that, get rid of that, get that back. So how do I get rid of this point without actually getting rid of it? Well, what I really want to do is hide it. I don't. I want it to still be there. It needs to be a parent of the circle so that the circle can still exist. I just don't want to see it. And so what I want to do is hide it. And so under the display menu, there's the hide option. So if I want to hide a point, I hit Control H or select this option from the display menu. And that point is still there. We just don't see it anymore. 
And similarly, this point, I want to hit Control H or display hide point. And now I have the picture that I had on the previous screen. And if you ever want to get back anything that you've hidden, under display, you can say con you can use show all hidden or shift control H and that'll bring back anything that you've hidden. But I want to hide those back again, so hide points. And now we've got our original picture. So by using the parent-child relationship in clever ways, we can construct diagrams with constraints that are forced to be certain ways that we want them to be. We can also use the hide feature to get rid of some of the bits and pieces that we used to create the picture and only look at the features that we want to see. So if, for example, we didn't even want these circles to appear on the screen, we could highlight those, hide those circles, and now all we have is a triangle that acts in a peculiar way, and we're maybe not exactly sure why this triangle is acting so strangely if we didn't know that it came from putting points on circles.